Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies DLC 1 Firebase Z video. So Treyarch have just posted the first image from the Firebase Z trailer and they said spot the difference. So I'm sure that we're going to see the trailer later this week, maybe even tomorrow. Anyways, because this is a spot the difference image, I'm going to point out a couple differences that I have noticed. So first of all, on the left image there is a radioactive symbol, however it isn't present on the right image and also the character is holding three ammo shells on the left however only two on the right. But what is this image showcasing itself? Well we obviously see this dark ether chamber as Omega have been harnessing the dark ether crystals to use as an infinite power source and they have been recruiting quote unquote ether naught to enter the dark ether and retrieve these crystals. This area seems pretty dark though and we do get another look of the boss zombie and we can see a bunch of the zombies heads that are protruding from it. We get a much clearer look of them. Other than that though, I can't really notice much more of significance from this image, but you can let me know down in the comment section if you notice any other differences between the two images. So yeah, it seems like there are going to be multiple of these ether reactors around the map, and I am assuming to turn on the power, we will have to power on each one of them. I feel like maybe each different reactor powers up a different section of the map, and you will only get power in that region. Just because Trek have released a few different images of these ether reactors so we know that there's at least three on the map. Okay so the next thing that I want to talk about is over the past 24 hours there has been a ton of leaked images and also a few seconds of gameplay of Firebase Z posted on Twitter and Reddit. Obviously due to copyright reasons I will not be able to showcase the leaked images or videos in this video and I will not be linking them either. However if you want to find them I'm sure you can do a quick search on Twitter and find them pretty easily. However, Activision are going ham with the copyright strikes, taking things down pretty quickly. But to be honest, these leaks don't really spoil too much, they just give us some very vague details, but they are exciting nevertheless. I'm not really sure as to where these leaks are coming from, but the first leaked image showcases the new design for the Tombstone perk machine. Obviously, I won't be able to showcase it, however, a huge thank you to Nanakos because he recreated what the perk machine looks like so you can see it on screen, and it does have have a western aesthetic to it and the perk machine appears to be set by a barn and there are some wooden boxes and some hay bales. But the most interesting thing about this image is there is an indicator on screen pointing you in the direction of a quote unquote ether reactor. So obviously we are going to have to power on these ether reactors I'm assuming to turn on the power on the map. However as you guys know and this has been officially released by Treyarch, Firebase Z is going to be made up of two completely separate areas. The first first area is Outpost 25, the Omega Firebase. But there is a second area which is a village, and we will be able to teleport in between the two locations via a teleporter. However, from these leaked images, it showcases that this village is in fact the exact same village from the campaign mission Fractured Jaw in the campaign. So Trek have gone ahead and taken this village from the campaign and they've reused it in Zombies, and to be honest, I think this is very smart of Treyarch. I've been saying for a while now that they should take advantages of their assets and try and put things to multiple use. And I think this is a really good idea. I know there will always be some clowns complaining about quote unquote remakes, but who is going to complain about this? We have never visited this location in a zombies map before, so it's still going to feel completely brand new to us. And the thing is, people have been speculating for ages that we would visit Firebase Ripcord in this Firebase Z zombies map that we visit later on in this mission. However, it seems like we aren't visiting Ripcord but we're instead visiting the village that is set close by to Ripcord unless we are able to explore Firebase Ripcord as well. But yeah, the village is exactly the same from the campaign. Although we've only seen a couple images it does look identical. So I'm wondering how that is going to play out because there are a lot of buildings in this village and it's not really designed to be a zombies map. So it might feel a bit different to what we've seen before. So yeah, I guess we get our first preview gameplay preview or whatever you want to call it of Firebase Z in the campaign because you can literally explore half of Firebase Z already in the campaign. So yeah, the village is obviously set by Firebase Ripcord in Vietnam and this is around a two and a half hour drive away from Kaysan which is where Outpost 25, the Omega facility, is actually set. So the teleporter is going to teleport us quite a bit far away. I thought that maybe it would actually teleport us to the Kaysan village but no, it is taking us miles 
miles away, deep into the lush jungles of Vietnam. And yeah, like I was saying, I don't care that Treyarch are reusing stuff from the campaign. I think this is really smart, to be honest. And also, all of the OG Zombies maps like Duriz, Ascension, Nags, or Untoten, they were all taken from the campaign and multiplayer as well. And most of the old multiplayer maps were based off of the campaign. So if you were going to be annoyed at this, you just don't know how time management works and how game development works. This is a very smart thing for Treyarch to do. And I do wonder, because this map was rumoured to release as a bonus map on a launch for Black Ops Cold War, I wonder if the map was originally just going to be the firebase, but then they pushed it back to DLC and they decided to expand the map by adding this village in that you can teleport to. I wonder if that is the case. Anyways, the next interesting thing is, is that on this same image that showcases the village, we can see that the Omega Informant, Captain Sergei Ravenov, is in fact talking to our character. So it seems like he is going to be guiding us through the Easter Egg and is going to be an integral part of this map and is going to be an NPC talking to us and keeping us on a track. Obviously, he is the informant that has been providing Samantha Maxis with intel and she has now been captured by Omega, so the Easter Egg is going to revolve around rescuing her. So from the short pieces of gameplay and images that we have received, aesthetically, the map looks visually very similar to Garod Krovi, mixed with Verrucht, mixed with, I guess, Buried in a way. I am getting slight Western vibes, but overall it seems very similar to Garod Krovi, in my own personal opinion. And this map does seem very huge. If we are going to be able to explore this entire village, which is pretty large if you've played the campaign, and also the entire firebase, then this map is going to be pretty big indeed. And some of the gameplay showcases an underground generator type area that is quite dark and is similar to the underground section of D-Machina. And this is likely where at least one of the Dark Ether reactors is. I think this is actually the exact same location that we see within this image that Treyarch have posted from the trailer, the Spot the Difference image. I'm pretty sure this exact same spot is showcased within this leaked footage. This is the same spot that they showcased the other day that looks visually very similar to Summit. I don't think it actually is Summit, but it does look extremely similar to Summit. So yeah, that is everything I wanted to talk about within today's video. That is everything that we have learned new. As he said, the leaked gameplay and images doesn't really spoil much, to be honest. It just lets us know that the village from the campaign is going to be a part of this zombies map, which I was suspecting anyway. In my prior videos when I mentioned the village, if you guys are unaware, I did show gameplay of this place in the background just because I felt like it might be the same village. I didn't really know anything at the time. I was just guessing. Well, it turns out I was indeed correct. So yeah, I'm sure we're going to get a trailer probably tomorrow, as I was saying, if not sometime later this week, ready for the map to release on February the 4th. I am so excited to explore the jungles of Vietnam. I wonder if since we're going to be able to explore this village, if we can go a bit outside of it and actually venture into the jungles themselves that we can't really access in the campaign. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.